Well, Ryan, good morning to you. Lots of questions still on the table this morning. In the last month alone, there have been three deaths at the zoo here. Now, those three deaths making five deaths in total in the last seven months, leaving a lot of people with a lot of questions. Now, a little later today, the CEO of the Pittsburgh Zoo is going to attempt to answer some of those questions and concerns about the recent deaths from the month of February. Those deaths include a gorilla who died during an anesthetic procedure back on February 1st. There was also an elephant calf who died after a sudden brief illness and according to zoo officials, a popular sea lion who also died during a routine sedation. Back in July and August of last year, the deaths of an African lion and a red panda were announced as well, both after medical issues and procedures. Now, all of this comes as zoo leaders are in talks to renew the park's accreditation. As of right now, the zoo is only accredited through the Zoological Association of America, but it's currently working to regain its accreditation with the prestigious Association of Zoos and Aquariums, which it voluntarily gave up back in 2015. Now, last weekend, the zoo was closed to give staff some time to grieve. Again, we are expecting to hear from the CEO a little later this morning. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 will be here asking some questions as soon as we have new details to bring you. We'll let you know both on air and online at WTAE.com. For now, reporting live from the zoo this morning, I'm Lily Coleman for Pittsburgh's Action News 4.